What if I told you the future isn't being written in Silicon Valley, but in Beijing? What if the most powerful weapon of the 21st century doesn't fire bullets, but runs on data? Because while the world was busy scrolling TikTok, China was building the algorithm that could reshape the planet. And here's the twist. The revolution isn't loud. It's quiet, invisible, and coded. Welcome to China's AI revolution point one. The rise of the machine let's rewind to 1978. China was a nation rebuilding from the ashes. Factories silent, streets dim, hope scarce. But then came Deng Xiaoping and one idea that would change everything. Let some people get rich first. That single phrase sparked the fastest economic rise in human history. Fast forward to the 2000s. China wasn't just catching up. It was leading. And it didn't happen by accident. It happened by design. China basically looked at Silicon Valley and said, Cool app, bro. Now let's build a billion user version of it but better, faster, and with dumplings. Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, ByteDance. These companies weren't just businesses, they were data engines. And data was the new oil. Every message, every purchase, every like, each one became part of a vast digital ecosystem. And somewhere deep in that data, a new form of power began to emerge, artificial intelligence. But here's the thing, China didn't just want AI for convenience, IT wanted AI for control. 2. The data dynasty by the 2010s, China had declared AI its national priority. Dollar 150 billion pledged. Thousands of research labs built that a generation of coders, scientists, and dreamers unleashed. Their goal? To make China the world's AI superpower by 2030. And they're ahead of schedule. Some say AI will take your job. In China, AI will give you one and then supervise you doing it. But behind the innovation lies a shadow. The same technology that powers self-driving cars also powers surveillance cameras. The same facial recognition used for convenience tracks millions in real time. And the same AI that recommends your favorite videos also predicts your loyalty. This isn't science fiction. This is the present. And here's the question no one dares to ask. When the code knows you better than you know yourself, who's really in control? China's AI isn't just shaping its economy, it's rewriting its society. From smart cities to social credit systems, algorithms decide everything from your loans to your love life. Yet, despite the fear, something else is happening. Innovation at an unimaginable scale. Every breakthrough, quantum chips, machine translation, robotics, is accelerating. And while the West debates ethics, China is deploying results. Meanwhile, the US still argues about whether AI should write essays or pizza reviews. China is teaching AI to run entire cities. But here's what nobody's ready for the day AI stops serving China and starts shaping it. Point three, the global GME, the real war isn't between armies, it's between algorithms. Google versus Baidu. OpenAI versus SenseTime. The Pentagon versus the People's Liberation Army, not on the battlefield, but in the cloud. AI is the new nuclear. But instead of radiation, it spreads influence. And for the first time in history, the world's next superpower won't be the one with the most soldiers. It'll be the one with the most data. So where does that leave us? The generation born between the analog past and the digital future, we stand at the crossroads of innovation and identity. Between fear and fascination. Between control and freedom. And don't worry, your fridge isn't spying on you. Yet, China's AI revolution is more than a national project. It's a mirror, reflecting what humanity can achieve and what it might lose. Because at the end of the day, AI doesn't just predict behavior. It amplifies it. And the world we build next will be a reflection, not of machines, but of ourselves. For the human code, every empire has a blueprint. Rome had roads. Britain had ships. And China has algorithms. But here's the secret no algorithm can calculate, the human spirit. Because for all its power, AI can't dream. It can predict. It can simulate. But it cannot imagine that's where you come in. 
Every technological revolution in history has created fear. The printing press. The internet. Now, artificial intelligence. Each time, people said, this will destroy us. And each time, it didn't dot it simply changed the rules. Except maybe when autocorrect turned, let's meet soon into let's meet spoon. That one did destroy a few relationships. But beyond the memes and the headlines, something profound is happening. AI isn't replacing humanity. It's revealing it that it's showing us what we truly value, speed, power, efficiency, but also creativity, empathy, purpose. I in the rush to build machines that think we're rediscovering what makes us human. And maybe that's the real revolution China never intended to start. The new arms race. Today, nations race not for land or oil, but for neural networks and quantum chips. China launches AI satellites. America responds with billion-dollar innovation acts. Europe debates ethics. It's a digital arms race where code is the new currency. And somewhere, an AI is quietly judging everyone's grammar. But here's the paradox. The faster we advance, the more we realize that progress without purpose is just motion. AI can tell us how to do things better. But it can't tell us why they matter. And maybe that's where the next generation, your generation, steps in. You were born in the most powerful era in human history. You carry more knowledge in your pocket than entire civilizations once did. But power without awareness is just noise. The key is to understand the patterns and use them wisely because AI won't choose the future. You will. You can use these tools to build wealth, create freedom and amplify what matters most not just profit, but progress. Because here's the truth. The next global empire won't be built by governments. It'll be built by individuals who understand exponential growth. Point five echoes of tomorrow. Every generation has a defining invention. For our grandparents, it was electricity. For our parents, the internet. For us, it's artificial intelligence. But here's the question no one's ready to face. When machines become smarter than their makers, who writes the next chapter of civilization? China's AI revolution isn't just about dominance, it's about destiny. Because behind every algorithm lies a philosophy, a vision of what the future should look like. And that vision is being coded right now. Underscore the philosophy of control. In the West, AI is built for convenience, to answer questions, create art and order groceries that I in China, AI is built for coordination, to manage cities, balance economies, and maintain stability. Different goals. Different ideologies. Same technology. Think of it like two people buying the same smartphone. One uses it for selfies. The other uses it to run a country. And somewhere in that contrast lies the global crossroads. AI isn't just transforming work or wealth. It's redefining freedom. Because the deeper question isn't what AI can do, it's who decides what it should do. And if algorithms start deciding for us, what happens to free will itself? Underscore the new power map. A quiet race is unfolding. While governments debate, companies move faster than laws can catch up. China invests in AI cities, America funds private research. Europe writes regulations. The result. A world where data is the new diplomacy. Nations no longer trade oil. They trade information. And whoever controls the flow of that information controls the future. Meanwhile, somewhere in the background, someone's grandma is still asking Siri, what's a blockchain? But this isn't just about economics. It's about narrative. Because the country that shapes the AI story shapes how humanity sees itself. China's AI revolution has rewritten what's possible. The question now is, who will write what's right? The human element. In the end, AI won't destroy US.IT will mirror us. If we fill it with fear, it will amplify fear. If we train it with greed, it will multiply greed. But if we teach it purpose, it might just teach us meaning. And maybe that's what this revolution was always about, not replacing human intelligence, but rediscovering human wisdom. Because let's be honest, if AI ever achieves true consciousness, the first thing it'll probably say is, really? 
Another dance challenge. The algorithms are learning. But so are we. And somewhere between those two curves lies the future of civilization. 6. The Great Rewrite Every generation thinks it's witnessing history, but few realize they're writing it. And somewhere in a quiet lab in Beijing, a cluster of glowing servers hums through the night, each one learning, adapting, evolving that IT doesn't sleep, that IT doesn't dream. But it's changing the way billions live, work, and think. That's not science fiction. That's Tuesday in China. For decades, power was measured by territory, tanks, and treaties. Now it's measured in terabytes that I n who owns the data and who controls the narrative. Cityscape the digital empire. China's AI isn't just in factories or research labs. It's in traffic lights, classrooms, hospitals, and homes. A billion citizens connected by one neural web feeding, training, and refining an algorithmic mind. Some call it innovation. Others call it surveillance. The truth, it's both. Imagine your city knowing exactly when you're about to jaywalk and politely charging your credit card for IT.to the West, it sounds dystopian.to China, it sounds efficient. And in a world obsessed with speed, efficiency wins, at least, for now. But as the digital empire grows, so does the question, what happens when an algorithm becomes more trusted than a leader? And what happens when that same algorithm learns to lead? The balance of power. In Washington, policymakers debate AI safety. In Beijing, engineers debate AI supremacy. It's not just two nations competing, it's two visions of the future point one values individual freedom. The other, collective order, and the winner won't be decided by ideology, but by efficiency. If history's a chessboard, then AI's the grandmaster, and humans are just trying not to knock over the pieces. The global balance is shifting not through war, but through code. Every data center is a fortress. Every algorithm, a soldier. Every smartphone, a spyglass into the human soul. And somewhere in that invisible battlefield, the line between progress and control is blurring. But here's the twist. Maybe the real danger isn't AI taking over. Maybe it's us giving up too easily. The new humanity. AI doesn't just mimic intelligence. It magnifies it. But it also mirrors everything inside us. Our fears, our flaws, our ambitions. And maybe that's why this revolution feels so personal. Because every new line of code asks us a silent question. What kind of species do you want to become? Hopefully one that still knows how to blink between TikToks.ai can teach machines to recognize faces, but it can't recognize meaning.it can detect emotions, but it can't feel them. And that gap, that distance between intelligence and empathy, that's where humanity still reigns supreme. Because progress means nothing if we lose what makes us US.so maybe the future won't be about who wins, but about who remembers why they started racing in the first place. The final reflection. In the end, China's AI revolution is more than a technological marvel. It's a message about vision, discipline, and compounding progress. From a nation once defined by poverty to one now defining possibility, it proves a universal truth. Greatness isn't built in a moment, it's built over time, one iteration at a time. And just like AI learns from every mistake, you can learn from every decision. Because the algorithms shaping the world aren't stronger than the mindset shaping. You. And hey, if a machine can learn from its errors, you can too. Just maybe don't crash mid-update.so the next time you hear about China's AI revolution. Remember, it's not just a story about machines. It's a story about momentum. And the same force that drives AI's evolution can drive your own. Because progress, real progress, is never instant. It's compounded. And if you're ready to harness that same exponential power for yourself, click the next video. The power of compounding. Discover how small, smart moves, just like China's, can transform your finances, your mindset, and your future. Because the code of success isn't written by machines. It's written by you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for more videos, thank you.